Hi there, this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I am bringing to you today a haul video. Um, I spent about $200. I guess we went to about four, hmm, four uh, Goodwills, local Goodwills. Andy and I, that's we. I didn't have a mouse in my pocket. Um, and I bought a lot of stuff, and uh, it's all hard goods, and I thought I would show it to you. And what I'm gonna do and show you all the small stuff and then I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some bigger stuff that I bought um, just because it'll make it easier for me and that's that's why we're here right to make things easy for me okay um, so let's just jump right in I've got everything laid out here and it's kind of overwhelming but uh, again $200 was my spend today and I think it did pretty well this is a Sirius XM radio with the docking station and all of that um, it actually looks like it has not been used um, there's still the film over the screen and um, everything's still like in it's a little baggy and stuff so I paid $8.99 for this I think I can get somewhere between $50 and $70 for that bought a lot of appliances today because I like them um, this is a Cuisinart uh, hand mixer with a storage case and this one actually still has like the little scraper see it right there little scraper with it this is an expensive mixer this thing sells for like $89 on Amazon um, this one is not new I paid hmm $7.99 for it I'm gonna try and get somewhere around 40 to 45 for this um, which would make me happy now, I got a lot of hits today. Um, I got a miss or two in here too, but what fun would a haul video be without a miss? Um, let's see, let's grab something. Uh, got a lot of cameras today. This is a Polaroid i836. I paid $4.99 for it. Let me verify. Yeah, $4.99 for this. It's not in the greatest of shape, but I think I can get about $20 for that. And some of this stuff I will be selling on Amazon. Some of it I will be selling on eBay. This is, I thought this was a dog collar, like a bark collar, which I'm not a fan of those, but you know, I'm a reseller, so I gotta, gotta resell. That's what we do. Birds gotta fly, fish gotta swim, resellers gotta resell. But this is actually not a bark collar. This is actually a GPS, a locator um, for your dog. And it does require a service, but um, this also does not look like it's been used. I mean, it is pretty much pristine. Um, I think I can get about $40 to $50 for this as well, and I paid $2.99 for that. Can you believe that craziness? Um, don't pass these up if you see these. I know that they're old technology, but people still use them. And... Um, these can go for pretty well, for pretty good money. I paid 99 cents for this pack of four that is still sealed. Sandy, don't get any big ideas, you fatty. Takes one to know one. Um, but um, this will sell for somewhere around 25 to $30. And they do look like they sell pretty frequently. This is one of those analog to digital boxes because not everybody lives in an area um, we, or not everybody's got a digital TV. There are still the, yeah, there's still some holdouts there. Um, I paid $3.99, $5.99 for this. Um, this is selling on Amazon for around $25 to $30. And that does have the manual and the remote, which makes it a little more valuable. Um, I bought this Black & Decker Gizmo uh, can opener, and this is one of those under the counter type things. Paid $4 for this. This will go for about $25. I did not check that on Amazon, but I might. Um, I usually don't deal in a lot of linens, but I've got a friend that does. You know who you are. And um, I found these today. They're chaps. The retail price on the back is $99. I got these for $5.99 each. And... Um, it doesn't look like they sell like all that often, but when they do, they go for a pretty good amount of money. I think I can get about $100 for these two, and I'll wait that out. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. um, I got this little Panasonic um, micro cassette recorder, 
And these go for about $15 or $20. And I paid $2.99 for this one. Love my little electronics. I bought a bag of flatware, paid $5 for it. Um, there's some Oneida craft in it. However, I have no idea what the pattern is, so I don't know what this is worth, if anything. Um, let's see. And there may be some language in this video later because there's something I'm perturbed about that I will share with you then. So I just wanted to warn you now. A little language, a little later. Um, this is an indoor and outdoor wireless remote. And basically, this is like a timer for your lights, but it lets you turn them on and off by remote. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they're trying to be more modern than the clapper, but um, yeah, I paid $4.99 for this, and I'm hoping to get about $20 for it. Um, I paid 99 cents for this uh, Pokemon Nintendo GameCube um, magazine, and I think it just has like a play, I forget what they call these, player's guide. Um, this doesn't sell for all that much, I think around $10 on Amazon, but it's got a, a crazy rank, like 800 something. Um, so it should sell just about immediately. Let's see. I kind of was excited about this. Um, this is actually a silver coin. This is 999 silver. Um, this is two troy ounces. It's probably worth around $30 um, in today's market, but I paid $2.99 for it. So if anybody wants to trade me $2.99 for $30, I'd be happy to do that anytime you want. Um, I was pretty excited about this find. This is an Olympus XA camera. If I can get it open. I used to be much stronger. There we go. Um, and that's what it looks like. It did have corroded batteries stuck in the battery compartment that I will try to clean out. I paid $2.99 for this, I think, $4.99 for this. And this camera sells for around $100. Again, I will have to try and clean this out, um, but I will fully disclose that there was corrosion or I won't be able to clean it all or test it. And I'll sell it as untested, but still make a ton of money on it. Um, let me see if I can close that. Let's see. Um, this was a miss. Uh, I paid $2 for this. This is a Tivana Perfect Tea. It's just like, it's almost like a French press for tea, pretty much. And um, I paid $2. It's worth about $12, $15. Not that much, um, but there's still profit in it. So I guess I can't be mad about that. Um, I've got a Sony CyberShot camera with, with some accessories here that I paid $4.99 for. I think I can get around $25, maybe a little more for this. Uh, here's another one of those analog to digital boxes. This one has the remote. I paid $5.99 for this. I might be able to get about $20 for this. Um, if not, I may decide to just ditch this and sell the remote, which goes for around $12 to $14. I think I might call this a miss, but I'm not sure. And yes, I could check prices, but with all as much as I was buying today, I didn't check everything. I did check these though. This is a cardboard transparency mounting frames in their storage box. This is by 3M and I paid $3.99 for this and this sells for about $25 on Amazon. Let's see, what else do we have here? Several things, there's still a lot of stuff here. This was in somebody's cart, and um, I paid $5.99 for it, $4.99 for it, um, but I did go to the manager and say, this cart's been here for about 10 minutes, I noticed. Um, there's something in it I want, though, and she said, just take it. I think that cart's from yesterday, which tells me you're not necessarily doing your job, but whatever. Um, this is almost new. Like, it, the strap has not been opened. It does look like it's been taken out of the packaging. I would say it's probably been used once or twice. Um, I'm gonna try and get about 40 bucks out of that. And it is a keyboard for a video game, in case I didn't mention that. I paid $250 for this. 
This is an Avon yoga mat. I don't know who might want that, but somebody might. Um, I paid $10 for this bag of <coughs> Looney Tunes with tag, um, a little plush. That's um, Neon Taz, and here is the She-Devil. <coughs> um, Sylvester the Cat. And then I've got two of these they're, da they're Daffy Duck, but they're Frankenstein. So, just kind of weird, but um, that might do well for Halloween. If I sell these for $10 a piece, I'll gross $50 on a $10 investment, and I'm okay with that. Might take, take a while for, might take a while for those to sell, but yeah. Um, I always think, I know they're a little long tail, but I, I bought long tail stuff long time ago, so that stuff should be selling now. Um, this is a pair of lace up leather boots. Let's see, can you see that? And this is by the brand Soft, um, S-O-F-F-T. And these are in pretty good condition. I love this little detail on the heel. Let's see what size they are. seven and a half wide really cute it's becoming fall soon people will be buying boots soon um and i paid 5.99 for this i'm gonna try and get about 40 for those um i can try right did buy some stuff for the grandkids and i just have to show you this one because it's tiny look at that um, it's a little mini Mickey Mouse onesie for the baby that should be here any minute. Just any minute. I bought this pair of Merrill hiking boots. These are women's and they're a size 10. Paid $3.99 for them. I think I can get about $40 for those. <clears throat> I was pretty excited about these. Um, <clears throat> these are by a company called Camper which I'm not familiar with, but I checked the comps on this boot and they sell for, they've sold recently for about a hundred dollars. Um, and the, the um, sole says heels for beginners, but just a really cool booty and they're in a good size. I think they're a seven and a half or something like that. So I look forward to getting those listed. Got some board books for Achilles because he likes board books. And bought myself a little pair of boots, cause why not? I should sport myself occasionally. Um, I think there's just one thing left over here, and that is this two ninety nine bag camera bag, and inside it is a Sony Handycam. And I will test this fully. I don't have a battery charger for it. Um, I will order one and I'll include it with this if it works, uh, which is generally how I do these. Um, and the chargers are not very expensive. You can buy a, the aftermarket ones um, for, you know, 10 or $12. Uh, but I will fully test this. This is one that is actually in pretty good condition. I do have the uh, an extra battery for it that I will check to make sure that it charges. It also has, which is really cool, um, this cleaning cassette with it. And this is basically the manual on cassette. And it does have with it the paper manual. Um, I look this particular uh, model up, and this one has some kind of What's it called? Night shot is what it's called. So I guess it films in low light. Um, it does not have the a light with it, but um, this one sells between $100 and $135. It looks like it sells pretty frequently too. So um, I will take some time and test that. And again, that's something I'll have to test fully. I'll charge the batteries. I will, I've got a, a cassette downstairs that I can use to record on and play back. And I will also 
sit and run the battery just to see how long it will last. So, um, but uh, it's worth it that for the time that that will take. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and um, then we will take a peek at the other things that I bought. Okay, so I do have some big stuff here. I wanted to show you what I bought and um, kind of explain what I'm doing here. Um, I have gotten coffee pot crazy lately, so I've been buying a lot of them. <clears throat> um, this one is probably the best thing of the best one I bought today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a Cuisinart uh, grind and brew um, coffee pot. So you put the coffee beans in the top, it grinds them, and then it brews the coffee. This one has the burr type grinder. So this coffee pot is worth about two hundred dollars. However, the pot has some damage. Um, you probably can't see it from there, but like the top of the handle is broken. So um, I am hoping to, to get another one. Um, the replacements for this sell for about 25 to $30. Um, so I'll have to replace the pot. I paid $10 for this pot. It was regularly priced $19.99, but it was on sale. So I went to a different Goodwill, and I found this one. Also a Cuisinart, but a different model with a similar looking uh, pot. However, this is a 10 cup, and this one is a 12 cup. So they are the wrong, this is the wrong pot. Um, I paid ten, uh, $6 for this coffee pot. I don't know what it's worth, but what I did know was um, I can part this out and make a ton of money, even if the pot itself isn't worth anything, because uh, that's the good thing about buying these kind of appliances. Um, this is a Tefal Actifry. The Actifry is different than the Octograb. I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Um, damn these glasses, you know, the OptiGrab thing. No, this is an ActiFry. Um, this is pretty expensive, and I think I can get somewhere around $60 for this. I paid $9.99. Um, I was really shocked. I saw this on the, on the, you know, the cart, the utility cart that they use to put stuff out at our Goodwill, and they do allow us to kind of take stuff off the cart. They don't get bent at my Goodwill, um, but... Uh, this was only $6.99, which is a crazy price for this. Usually they'd price this around $20 at least. Um, cause my Goodwills, most of them are not crazy. They'll, they'll go crazy on a couple of items, but overall things are priced. Okay. This is a Cuisinart cause I love Cuisinart, uh, Cuisinart prep seven food processor. And it does have all of the attachments with it. Um, now this is, I have to make a decision on this. Um, this food processor only sells for about $40 uh, plus shipping. Part of that is because the shipping is so expensive. Um, and I think you can buy this particular food processor for $90 or $100. So I've got a couple of options. I can sell it for $40 and I'll make a decent profit on that. Um, I can sell it locally for $40 and have $40 cash. Um, or I can part this out. And that's the way the way I'm leaning. Um, it, it takes longer to get my money that way because I have to wait for all of those parts to sell. But just the bowl alone is going for about $25 shipped. So it won't take me that long. Usually the blades sell for pretty well too. Um, so I'm thinking that's the way I might go on that. And I did warn about some language earlier and um, I just wanna get this out. So, you know, if you've ever seen like a, a vulture or a buzzard or whatever you call them in your area, um, in the road eating roadkill and it's just freaking gross and you're like, that's a gross animal. That's a gross creature. They are not the grossest. The grossest are human beings that take coffee pots to the freaking Goodwill and don't clean the effing thing out. Okay. I just don't feel as mad about it as I did earlier. Because the, um, the words were flying earlier. But, I mean, like, these leaked 
black coffee all over crap in Andy's car. Thankfully, these were in a plastic tub. Um, but, like, they leaked on my bags and stuff. I didn't have clothing, so that was good. But, <clears throat> and, you know, if you're going to... If you're going to donate something to Goodwill, and, and I am appreciative that people do, clean it out. Really, I'm not going to be su surprised. Maybe I should check. If I open this, and there are coffee grinds inside, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. The people are gross. Fortunately, no, and I'm glad that I did that because there's the lid to the coffee pot I thought was missing. I am surprised that it's cleaned out, though, because people are nasty. Um, anyway, I digress. Let's move on over here. Um, this is something I pick up just about every time. Um, this is a Mr. Coffee Cap Cafe Frappe, and this one looks like it's complete. And basically what this does is you put coffee and uh, coffee grinds on the top, put the water in it like you would, you know, like you do. And you fill this with ice and you can put, you know, your flavored syrups or whatever, sugar, what, whatever you do in here. And basically what it will do is brew coffee over your ice and then it's got a blender blade in the bottom and it'll grind it up and make a frappe. I think that's the best thing ever. I will fully test it before I sell it, but this sells for $95 used on Amazon, and I paid $14.99 for it. Um, that is also something that you can part out if you buy one that is not working. Um, just the little canister itself does pretty well. I've only got a few things left, just bear with me. I know this video is getting long. Um, this coffee pot is, was on clearance, half off. I paid $2.50 for it. And it is um, a Cuisinart, and it sells for $40 on Amazon. And the the rank on this was something crazy, like in the 800s as well. I mean, just crazy. I said that book was in the 800s. I think that book was in the 800,000s, which is still pretty good on Amazon. This is like 846 or something um, on Amazon for kitchen. So it should sell pretty quickly. Two more things. Um, this is one of those Wii game towers that will hold like your your uh, your your controllers and your games and your unit. And people like to have these. This is not something I would sell on eBay because it's just so big. The dimensional shipping would kill you know any profit. But um, I paid four ninety nine for this. I'll list it for twenty dollars or twenty five dollars locally and sell that and. I mean, I don't have to make a killing on it because I'm just going to take a few pictures and list it. They're going to come to my front porch and pick it up and, you know, I'll make a little money on it that way for pretty much no fuss. Um, I don't get a lot of no-shows. I get some, but not many. And I don't care because I'm home anyway. Who cares? Um, I bought this yesterday, so this was not included in the $200 that I spent today. This was $6.99. This toy sells for about $55 retail. I am going to um, take it all out, make sure it's all there, play with it sufficiently, and then I will list this uh, locally for $35 and, and take maybe a little bit less. Um, so that's what I've got. Um, I do want to talk about just briefly when you're looking up particularly Cuisinart, uh, Cuisinart items on your Amazon app, if you're an Amazon seller and it says requires approval, click through that because sometimes on some brands, it just requires approval to sell these new it does, or refurbished. It does not require um, re, um, approval to sell these used. So double check that. I'm one of those people that sees the big like requires approval and I don't go any further with the app, but I accidentally hit it and it said, oh, you can sell these used. You just can't sell them new or refurbished. Okay. So I just wanted to say that, you know, if you're dabbling with Amazon um, and then the other thing is I will sell all of the things that I sell on Amazon merchant fulfilled. I will not send them to the warehouse. 
I will put them in my inventory and then when they sell, I'll ship them from here. Um, the fees are less that way. And um, if, if I decide I wanna sell it somewhere else, I don't have to you know recall it from Amazon. So anyway, that's my two cents. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you sharing this haul with me. Um, remember that the dream works when you do, so keep dreaming, keep working, and I'll see you guys the next time.